Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, let's dive into Power BI's latest and most exciting feature, the visual level format strings. Whether you're working with measures or columns, you can now precisely format your data at three different levels. Take a look at this visual that we have here, which says that we have three different levels of formatting that are available. One is at the model level, the second at the visual level, and third is at the element level. The model level formatting will get overwritten by the visual level formatting, and the visual level formatting will get overwritten by the element level formatting. I'm gonna explain this a bit more in detail for for you to understand. Now let's take a look at the visuals that I have here at the top, which is the model level formatting, the visual level formatting, and the element level formatting. Notice that on my first visual here, I have my order date field, which is formatted at the model level, right? which means that I can select the order date field here, go into the column tools, and from the format section here, I can choose the formatting that I want that needs to be applied to my order date. In this case, I have selected DDMMYY, and on my visual level formatting here, I have the same order date field and you can see that I have applied a different kind of formatting at the visual level here which is displaying the entire month name followed by the year now if I create another visual here and add in order date and sales and let me change this to order date instead of hierarchy. Notice that I have the model level formatting being applied to my new visual that I have added here, which is DDMMYY format, which we had selected from this section here, the column tools, the format section, right? Now, if I change the formatting of my order date at the model level, which means that under column tools, I can go to the format tab and choose to display year only. And you will notice that only the model level formatting visual here and the new visual that I have added is changed. The formatting of the order date has now changed to display the year. However, on the visual level formatting here, nothing has changed, which means that whatever formatting that I apply to my visual level, it will overwrite the formatting that I have applied to my model level. This is an example of what overwriting means. So to change the model level formatting, all you have to do is go to the field here under column tools, you can go to the format tab and change the formatting based on your requirements. Now coming to the visual level formatting, how do you change the visual level formatting? Now this is the new feature that we are seeing here. Let's go to the format tab and let's go to the properties section. Under properties section, you will see something called as data format. Now this is the new addition that has happened to the format section here. Now this will allow you to change the formatting of the fields here. For example, if I have to change the order date here, I have the custom option available here. I can enter a string of my choice and it will be changed. Notice that when I remove the format option, the model level formatting has come into the picture here. And if I need custom formatting here, I can type in the string here of my choice. For example, if I want to display month and year, I will type in capital M thrice here. It will display the abbreviated month name. And if I want to display full name here, I can type in MMMM four times. Notice that this has to be in capital letters and then followed by an hyphen. And then if I want to display year, I can type in YY here in small letters and that will display the last two digits of the year. But if you need the full year to be displayed, you can type in YYYY and that will display the full year on your visual. The other feature of the visual level formatting is that you now have full control over formatting your visual level calculations as well. Now, I have added a visual level calculation here, which is cal basically calculating the profit percentage. And earlier, we did not have any option to format this particular column here other than using the format function here, which will basically convert the column into a text field. And we didn't want it that. Now, finally, Power BI has added a feature here, which is basically the visual level calculation feature. If you go to the properties tab under format tab, you now have an option here where you can choose the profit percentage and then choose your formatting option of your choice. For example, I want to change this into a percentage. So I'm gonna type in 0.00, .00 and followed by a percentage. I now have the profit percentage column formatted into a percentage and if I want to reduce the number of decimals I can simply do so right from here. And the last one that we have here is the element level formatting, which means that this is going to override the visual level formatting. Now let's take a look at this visual here, which is basically an example of element level formatting. And 
I'm going to show you all three different levels of formatting here of how these different levels of formatting work and how each of these take precedence over other. Right now, I have the model level formatting being applied to this visual and you can see that this is a decimal number with zero decimal values and let me add commas here to this particular value and you will notice that the commas are now being displayed on this visual. Now let's go to the properties tab and under data format tab I'm going to change the formatting of the numbers here to thousands to so display thousands so now we are now displaying them in thousands and if you notice that we are now overwriting the model level formatting that we had on our sales column by the visual level formatting and now the last option here is the element level formatting and how can we control the element level formatting that is by going into the visual tab and under data labels here let's scroll down and under value here we have the sum of sales and display units here we have different options you can either choose the options that are available here or choose a custom one let's choose a custom one here and you will notice that we are now displaying the values here in millions and I will also be able to control the number of decimals that I am showing on this visual. If I remove the zero here, you will notice that I just have one decimal. If I remove another zero here, you will notice that I no more have any decimals being applied on my element level formatting. And now we are the element level formatting. If I remove the format code here and change my display units to none, notice that we are now applying the visual level formatting that we have applied here. And if I remove this one here, we are now going back to the model level formatting. So this is the new feature which Power BI has added in the August 2024 release. So these are the three different levels of formatting options that are now available in Power BI. I hope through this video, you are now clear and understand how these three three levels of formatting function works. And that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.